Starting today, hundreds of thousands of North Carolinians who previously did not qualify for Medicaid are now covered under a massive Medicaid expansion. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy explains how this closes the gap for workers. A decade in the making finally becomes a reality. The road has been a long one for many families. No one asks to get sick and you shouldn't be punished for it. And I think that's a real issue in this country. Penny Wingard was diagnosed with breast cancer 10 years ago and she had an aneurysm. She fell into a health care coverage gap where she didn't make enough to afford private insurance, but also didn't qualify for a traditional Medicaid and her medical debt started mounting. There were times I didn't want to wake up. There were times where I didn't want to continue because I have nothing. She fought hard Penny and beat breast cancer. On Friday, she stood beside Democratic Governor Roy Cooper at the Goodwill Opportunity Campus in Charlotte as he launched a program to help her and many others, the state's Medicaid expansion. For years, for years, I've heard these stories from child care workers. 25% of our child care workers didn't have health care. Most of them can get it now. Restaurant workers. People who look after our seniors, custodial workers, people with two or three part-time jobs. The Republican-controlled state legislature got on board with the governor earlier this year to expand Medicaid. The federal government will pay 90 percent of the cost under the Affordable Care Act. Around 600,000 North Carolinians are now eligible for Medicaid under the expansion. Your Medicaid card. <laughs> Glad this day has come, but as I said before, there's a stepping stone. Um, we got to figure out how to get rid of this medical debt. There are still challenges ahead, but now single adults making around $20,000 a year or families of three earning around $34,000 a year may be eligible for Medicaid. Today, we make real the promise of affordable, quality health care for so many. In Charlotte, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.